Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil Remake. When we last left off, we were exploring the uh, residence. Alright, let's chuck that key. So, we've got the unprinted book. Let's start, continue, uh, let's continue, start, start to continue. Exploring the rest of the rooms. Now, this is where we get the weapon. There we go. And the suicide note. Self-defense gun will have it. And a suicide note. I had to do it. We ran from those things, helping each other to survive. But Robert started to show the symptoms. I had to do it. Those damn things are pure evil. There was no other way. He would have done the same if it were the other way around. After I put him out of his misery, I had to just leave him in the bathroom. Now I'm probably the last one. How could this happen? I'll never forgive myself for being part of this project. Eventually, I'll get what's coming to me, though. There's no way to escape this from this nut house. It's just a matter of time now. Everything is set. All I need is a little courage to get it done. Knowing that I'll leave many things undone is a regret beyond words. But this is better than just waiting to turn into one of them. Please understand that at least understand and at least let me end my life as a person. There is a message on the back. Linda, please forgive me. You know, there's something so personal about these notes. You know. This bed shows, shows signs of having been used. There's something so personal about these notes, you know, that later games failed to capture. Right. Let's go in here. Now, I'm pretty sure there's a zombie in here. Um, I think he's on the floor. Yeah. Uh, we've got some self-defense items, so we should be okay. And our friend has just dropped. Which is not fantastic, but we only have to take the control room key and then we can get the brick out of here. Uh, so we've got that, we've got that. Um, let's go. So we never have to really bother with that zombie, which is cool. You, sir. I'd love to put him out of his misery, but it's just not worth it, to be honest. It's definitely not worth it. Right. Okay. So we've got the control room key. So that means... Um, let's put the self-defense gun back because we just don't need that. We're going to have to ferry these items to and from. That's going to be the biggest problem, you know. Um, we will be using that more or less soonish. Don't need that. We don't really need to take any guns with us either, to be honest. But... I do feel a little bit safer having them with me. Okay. Let's go. Wait, we do have everything, don't we? Yeah, we've got the key. That's what we need. There should be another herb down there as well. Now, the trouble with Neptune and his buddies is they do like to bite. And it's in... Oh, shit. Am I going the right way? Yes. Yeah, I'm going the right way. Uh, they do like to bite, and they are incredibly difficult, actually, to avoid. Which is not good, but... Oh, there's a fucking zombie in here now, isn't there? Ah, okay. Alright, it is what it is. Don't know how close he is to us. Just gonna keep firing until we hear him drop. Yeah, there we go. Is he gonna get back up? Yeah, he is. Alright, cool. Let's more or less put him down for good. Are you dead, buddy? Yeah, you're dead. You're bleeding out. Cool. Okay. 
I very much doubt he's going to turn into a crimson head. Now, let's go. To the aqua ring. I actually like what they did with the aqua ring in this game. They really fleshed it out a lot. And listen to that music. Listen to it. There should be a green herb down here. Uh, I'm guessing there isn't. No, why would there be? Wouldn't have killed you, developers, to put a green herb down here. At least this box puzzle is pretty much the same. And Jill's definitely a lot stronger than she looks. Uh, there's probably nothing in here. Who knows, though? They could be full of herbs. They could be full of, you know, grenade launchers. They could be full of hunters. Who knows? Well, I mean, if it's full of hunters... Actually, they made this uh, puzzle easier. Because you don't have to push it up and nudge it out and then push it all the way back down. Which is nice. Um, right, there we go. Ready, go. One last heave. There we go. Uh, also, we were talking about, um, you know, the, the visual appearance of Jill. Uh, and she was modelled from Julia Voth uh, in this game. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I like her appearance in Resident Evil 3, the remake. Uh, she looks really cool. Oh, there's still the herb. Good. Um, but Julia Voth, she's always going to be my favourite um rendition of, of Jill, I think. I might hold on to that. Should I? No. Yeah. Smoke them if you got them, I guess. She just... I don't know. She just suits the personality, you know? It's like um, Chris in... You know, I was never a huge fan of how Chris looked in Resident Evil 5. He just he looked a little bit silly, if you ask me. Um... Now, these guys always get a nibble, unless you do the old uh, twizzle, which doesn't always work. Yeah, it doesn't work. How much? Straight down to caution. These things are savage. They really are nasty. Um, especially on this difficulty. Come on. Come on. There we go. <sighs> okay. Right. Use the control room key. Get it done. Yeah, so... Yeah, I, I just, I'm, I'm just a big fan of the way she looks in this. As I said, I like the way she looks in 3. But Julia Voth will always be my um, favourite uh, representation of her. I also really like her hair as well. That bob. It just suits her. Now, um... Right. I think there's some health in here. There's no. Did they? Or was it further down here? It was like a medical box. Nope. Okay, medical box is gone. I could have sworn there was a one of those green medical boxes in here somewhere. Okay. Well, that's a bit of a fuck factor, isn't it? Now. Uh, caution in case of a drop in oil pressure. Open valve three. Always important to read that because um, it's always different. <laughs> it's random. There's three valves here, and it could be one, two, or three. Right. So, let's get this shit show started, shall we? Look at how freaking ominous this is. An error message is being displayed. Something appears to have gone wrong whilst the water was being drained. There's a switch to drain the water. Press it. Yes. Oh, dear. <laughs> He's not happy about that. Yeah, big. Yeah, well, the problem is, there's a big ugly shark trying to smash his way through. Won't budge until the safety's released. Safety's over here. Yep. Safety's released. Now this is going to fail. Oil pressure lost. God damn it. Yep, okay. Oof. You don't have a huge amount of time here. We'll go for valve three. Activate emergency drainage system 
We're on it, we're on it, we're on it, we're on it, we're on it. Right, release the safety. There we go. There we go. Oh god. <laughs> I was like, why is it not working? Why is it not working? It's working. Ah. Now we can drain the water and kill the fish. Safety's been released. Let's drain that water. The water has been completely drained. Good. That's some good... That's some quick work there, Jill. I approve. I always think it's hard as well to pick a favourite Resident Evil character. I mean, I love Jill. I love um, Chris. I love Leon. There's nothing here. Well, apparently there is something here. I love Claire. Um, what's that? Uh, I mean, okay. Sure. There's usually shotgun uh, shotgun shells in here. I basically like the the original cast, you know, all of the stars members, um, Claire and Leon and Ada, man, Ada. Oh, how can you not like Ada? She's like one of the best characters. She needs her own game, so we can finally, you know, see what she's all about. Right, look at the scratches and stuff all over Neptune. He's not had an easy life. Right, let's go get our key. That would be too easy, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's not just going to let us get the key. But that's okay. Let's fry this guy's ass. A little bit like that. Ooh, dance for me, baby. Dance. The electric boogaloo. All right. Okay. All right. Let's go grab our key and get out of here. Now, uh, that's it. Wow. Here's me like worrying about how we're gonna get out of here with all of these items. Um, what items? <laughs> there are no items. We're probably going to be coming back to the mansion with um, spare carrying capacity. Alright, let's get out of here. Yeah, it's really depressing as well. Like, yeah, I, I would go as far as saying soul destroying. I can see the bottom of my coffee cup. Oh, devastating. Yet yeah, there, there was also like I'm sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but magnum ammo there, or at least shotgun shells. Oh, what a world we live in, guys! Seriously, what a world we live in. Never mind. Let's get out of here. You unlocked it. Good stuff, Jill. Well, you are the master of unlocking. You know, nothing makes you feel better when you're sick than uh, playing some Resident Evil. And if you want to amplify the good feeling, record it. Always a good time. And the door is creeping open. Who's poking their head through? Oh, you. I thought one of the cats was coming in. Okay, and we're back. Oh, just had to go see if Mrs. is all right. Um... Right, this is bad. Uh, we have a crimson head. Now, I've never understood how crimson heads work. I think if they stay dead for X amount of time, they turn. Or they turn if you do X amount of progress. There are progress triggers as well. Uh, this guy must have been triggered by progress. I did wonder if that was going to be the case. Now, 
We're on low health. We haven't saved in a while. And we don't have anything to defend ourselves with. So what I'm basically trying to tell you here, guys, is we're in a bad way. <laughs> I think we're about to have a bad time. <sighs> Do I have any coffee left? No. Last few drips in the bottom. Um... <sighs> Here goes everything. Run! Run, Jill! Run! 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 Ooh. Ouch. Ow. Well, that was bad. That was really bad. Now, I wish... You know, why is there so few PC games that actually hide the mouse when you want them to? Right, so we've got a hanger magazine there that we'll, we'll grab just because of shits and giggles. There is a red herb there. But, oh dear, oh dear. There's a red herb there, but... A red herb... Doesn't really help us much. Piss off bees. Piss off. Hey look, I like bees as much as the next man, alright? But I don't like these bees. Okay. Bees are your friends. Wasps, on the other hand. Wasps are dicks. Flying bastards. Right, let's gas the lot of them. There we go. That's so satisfying. Oh, that's so satisfying. Okay. Uh, oh, boy. Uh, as for these symptoms that I've had, I think I've been pretty light on these symptoms so far. Um, just tightness of chest, really, and slightly harder to breathe. But, yeah, it's been fairly mild so far. Uh, right. This dude, I love the look on this dude's face. Look at that. It's pretty horrific. Right, what have we got? We have another residence key. This is good. Now, ah, oh shit. Fuck, bollocks, off. We do actually have a problem if we're going to use the video we have to let's see what's in here we have to um go past that crimson head twice maybe we can use the self-defense gun on him might not be an awful idea. Organic chemistry lab experiment. The similarities in the cellular characteristics of the rapidly growing plant infected with the Tyrant virus have been reported in previous papers. However, while repeating these experiments, an interesting new fact became clear. We learned that a chemical in the UMB family, UMB uh, UMB number 20 contains a compound that is toxic to the cells of the plant. We have given UMB number 20 a new name, V-Jolt. If calculations prove correct, when V-Jolt is applied directly to the root of the plant, the entire plant should be dead within 5 seconds. The V-Jolt can be made simply by mixing the VP and UMB chemicals in a specific ratio. However, extra care must be taken when handling these UMB chemicals. They have been known to generate toxic gases if mishandled. The characteristics of each UMB chemical are as follows. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is there a zombie in here? I'm 
pretty sure there might be. Oof. There actually isn't a zombie in here. There also isn't anything in the water either. Nope. Nothing. Um... I don't know what to do here, guys. Uh, I don't know whether it's worth doing the video. Um, or whether it's worth... I don't think we're going to be able to survive against the oh god I don't know if we're going to be able to survive against the um, crimson head that's the problem yeah right so okay so this is the awkward thing I can't remember which one of these is green which one of these is so let's just I did write it down on my tablet here uh, right so let's say this one was yellow, it would have been a five. If this one was green, it would have been a six. This one was red, it would have been a three. That's all, that's wrong, of course. Uh, right, this could take some time. Let's try that being three. Let's try that being... Uh, yellow five. And let's try that being purple four. Nope. This could take me some time off camera, to be honest. Because uh, I think it's only purple green. No, it's not. It's red, yellow and green, I think. Well, if that's the yellow one, this one is green, that one's red, no, let's try that being green, that being red, there we go, haha, <laughs> guessed it, just take some, uh, some amount of arsehole and you get there eventually, yeah, uh, but that still doesn't help us though, okay, Right, let's... Yeah, we need containers. So we at... Pick up the container, Jill. Thank you. Can you not just, like, eat that red herb? Also, I don't think we need four containers. I think we only need one. Right, okay. Uh, one. I think we need three. So we need water, which is one. We need three, which is that, I think. Yeah. Thank you. We'll mix these two together. And then we need six, which is yellow six. And then we can dump those two together. That gives us UMB 10. Then we need water plus uh, six, I think. Yeah, because we need seven to make it into 17. Yeah, okay. God, memory. That is yellow six, good. I think it's water in this, so we'll soon find out, because we do that and that. You be seven, you be, yeah, 17. Right, okay, and then we just need... Okay. <laughs> Actually sweating there a little bit. <laughs> uh, right, now we just need three. Take some... I three twenty yes yeah, so that's twenty yeah there we go right U and B cool V jolt uh there's nothing in here is there I mean there is there's technically like one more bottle which I suppose we'll grab uh yeah okay I really don't know what to do um. 
is a handgun. Well, yeah, we could use the self-defense gun. Uh, against... Or we could use a magnum. No, wait, have we got the magnum on us? We need to work out what we actually need to take back with us. Yeah, wait a minute, I think we've got the magnum, haven't we? Actually, we might be okay. I might be over-complicating things. To be honest. Probably am. Uh... Uh... Now, I guess we're going to see how powerful that self-defense gun is. I mean, let's be fair, uh, I can't really imagine using the self-defense gun on anything else because, uh, I mean, I never use the self-defense gun, ever, really. We want that. We want... Ah, oh, right, right, right. We took the magnum back, didn't we? We don't really want a blue herb, but we do want to take that back with us. Uh, we're going to use that. We're going to use that. We're going to need the crank too. Because uh, the only thing we, we're going to pick up from here, we're going to want to take those back. That's going to be gone. That's going to be gone. That's going to be gone. We're going to have the extra key. We don't need the empty bottles. We can sack. Right, we're going to want the ink ribbons. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. Right, I'm going to save this one. It's going to be a little bit early here. Um, but I have a nice hot bubbly bath waiting for me. And uh, I think that sounds rather wonderful right about now. <laughs> Uh, right, let's drop a, no, let's drop a save there, and, uh, when we come back, are we actually going to get a connection this time? We are, okay. When we come back, we're going to shoot a crimson head in the face, um, and hopefully... Robert's your father's brother like but we shall see so thanks for watching guys and as always till next time